Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve absolute value equations. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given three problems here that are basic absolute value equations to help us better understand really what to do here. The absolute value here of a value is really the distance that value is from zero. So the first one here is what value, when we take absolute value of it, distance from zero, is equal to eight. And there's gonna be two values here really, right? Uh, X can equal a positive eight, or X can equal a negative eight. And those are two values here that when we take the absolute value of, we get an eight. Now, this one's a little tricky. Which value has a distance of negative six? And really here, the answer is no solution. Because whenever we take the absolute value of a number, it always has to be a positive number, a positive distance. We're not counting here a negative distance from zero here. So our absolute values, whenever we take an absolute value, it will always be a positive number. And that's another way to think about that. Lastly here, the absolute value of z is equal to zero. What value makes that true? And that's just going to be, well, z equals zero. There's no positive or negative really here. It's just z is equal to zero. That's our only option. We take the absolute value of it, we get zero. So hopefully there's three basic cases here that kind of show you the gambit of basic <laughs> absolute value equations here, and then you hopefully understood what was going on. If you learned something here about absolute value equations, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our video. This makes it, uh, helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.